Hello folks, Waylon from Marine Depot here, and thanks for joining us today. Setting up a new saltwater aquarium is an exciting project. If you're like us, you can't wait to start building up a reef by adding fish, corals, and other invertebrates. But a newly set up aquarium is not biologically mature enough to handle a full load of reef livestock. New tanks need time to build a stable biological foundation. Aquarists refer to this maturation time as a cycle. When cycling a new tank, you are essentially growing the bacteria that are the driving force behind a nitrogen cycle. These bacteria process organic waste in your aquarium, making it safe for fish and other tank inhabitants. Without this bacterial foundation, your aquarium will not survive. These microscopic bacteria work to eliminate waste products like ammonia, break down organic matter, and recycle nutrients. These microbe-driven processes are often referred to as the biological filtration inside your tank. They can be comprised of a wide variety of bacterial species based on the conditions in your tank. Nitrosomomas, Nitrobacter, and Nitrospira are all nitrifying bacteria types that can be found in your aquarium, alongside a ton of others. The important fact to understand here is that every tank is different and the bacteria types that exist and dominate your aquarium will be unique. Fish excrete toxin ammonia directly from their gills, although ammonia also comes from organic matter breaking down inside the aquarium. When solid fish and invert waste or uneaten food decompose, it releases toxin ammonia into the water. Thanks to the nitrogen cycle and the bacteria that drive it, this toxin ammonia does not build up in the aquarium. The nitrogen cycle is a two-step process involving two types of nitrifying bacteria. In the first step, ammonia is converted to nitrite by what scientists call ammonia oxidizing bacteria, or AOB for short. This is simply a classification we use to group together the various species of bacteria that convert ammonia to nitrite. Next, nitrite oxidizing bacteria, or NOB for short, converts nitrite to nitrate, which is far less toxic to fish and other animals when compared to ammonia or nitrite. Nitrate is only harmful when it starts to stack up inside your aquarium. This reason is exactly why some of us do water changes. Water changes remove nitrate that would otherwise just keep accumulating. This is a simplified explanation of what happens in a mature or cycled aquarium. This is why you must give it time before adding your livestock. New tanks need to go through a period of maturation during the development of this nitrifying bacteria. To track the process, you can utilize some test kits and test the water for ammonia, nitrite, and finally nitrate. First, you will see an ammonia level rise and then start to fall when nitrites become present. Finally, you'll see a rise in nitrates and ammonia and nitrite levels begin to be zero. This means the cycle is completed and both types of bacteria are present in your aquarium. There are a couple things you need to do in order to get the cycle started inside a new tank. Seed the tank with bacteria and provide a source of ammonia to feed that bacteria. There are several ways to seed a brand new aquarium with bacteria. You can add a few pieces of live rock or live sand from an established aquarium. The downside here is that you run the risk of introducing pests. But cycling an aquarium with seasoned live rock is still widely practiced and a very common method. If using live rock or sand, you only need a little bit to seed the aquarium with bacteria. It is perfectly suitable to fill your tank with dry rock or dry sand and then add a small piece of live rock or a small scoop of live sand to introduce the bacteria. As long as you provide an ammonia source, this bacteria will soon grow and populate onto all the surfaces of your tank, including the dry rock and sand. Another method of seeding the tank is using a liquid bacteria supplement. Not all liquid bacteria products are made equal. Some formulations contain microbes and enzymes that will take time to grow and become abundant in an aquarium. One of our favorites is the Brightwell Aquatics Microbacter 7. If you really wish to jumpstart the cycle process, you might look at Dr. Tim's One and Only or Fitz Aquatics Turbo Start because these contain live nitrifying bacteria that will immediately go to work in your tank. These products will work so long as ammonia is present, and they can also help shorten the length of time it takes to make the aquarium safe for the addition of fish and corals. No matter which brand of bio-additive you choose, be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions closely. Each of the instructions are indeed unique and will contain different concentrations and species of microbes. One thing to note is that it's not unusual for aquarists to use both liquid nitrifiers as well as live rock and live sand. This is because you really want to do everything possible to start with a diverse and healthy population of bacteria in the aquarium as quickly as possible. Getting bacteria from various sources and in large amounts will only help the process. After you've added live bacteria to the tank, you'll need a source of ammonia. Some aquarists add a live fish and let it produce ammonia naturally. 
Feed the fish sparingly and monitor the ammonia and nitrite levels. This can, however, put that fish at the risk of ammonia or nitrite poisoning, which is why you want to use a hardy fish during the cycling process. The fish cycle is designed to grow out the biofilter before marine life is added. This method relies on a higher initial ammonia dose to force feed the bacteria and develop a substantial biofilter before adding livestock. Some aquarists drop in a piece of shrimp or phantom feed fish food. As the food decays, ammonia is released. Another method involves adding a prepared ammonia solution to the tank. Dr. Tim's ammonia chloride is designed specifically for this purpose of adding ammonia and should be used alongside a nitrifying bacteria product such as Dr. Tim's one and only. It can take around six weeks for the aquarium to complete the cycle, depending on the vitality of the seed bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria are relatively slow growers. They respond to ammonia and nitrite by dividing and forming larger colonies. So plan on four to six weeks, especially if you're going with a fishless cycle. The key is to be patient. Just let the bacteria do the thing. You can track the process by looking at test kits. It is important to remember that when you add more livestock, the biofilter has to adjust and grow to meet the higher ammonia levels. I typically recommend one or two fish every other week after a successful cycle. Staggering the livestock additions ensure that you do not overload the aquarium with nutrients. This method gives it plenty of time for the bacteria to establish and keep up with the additional waste in the aquarium. In the age of instant gratification, some hobbies become worried that the tank won't cycle or just become impatient and start adding animals too quickly. Take it from me and the thousands of people keeping aquariums before me. Don't be that guy. It will only lead to killing animals and getting frustrated. Just set up the tank, add your bacteria and ammonia source, and then leave it alone for a couple weeks before testing your parameters. If you found this cycling video helpful, please hit that thumbs up and share it with your reef keeping friends. We have a ton of exciting content in the works, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay on top of all the latest Marine Depot videos. I appreciate you for watching. Until next time, take care and happy reef keeping.